So I saw this commercial while watching the reboot of Beavis and Butthead tonight. Any of you catch that, by the way? Fucking brilliant, right? Anyway, about the commercial. So imagine this guy stretched out on a human towel rack. That's the best way I can describe it. His wrists are bound in razor wire, as are his legs, and the razor wire is tied around a rope which is suspending him. The ropes are configured to stretch his entire body out and rip his torso in half. So the commercial showed those bloody, bruising wrists, exposed bone and the sound of flesh tearing, and right before they plugged the movie, right at the very end, it cut to black. The title played over the character's dying gasps, slobbering and a faint but steady trickling of blood. Some could say he was a blood fountain. So sounds like a pretty tight movie, right? I don't have any problem with violence in cinema. Back in the early days of my photography, I was totally into the gory shit. As a teenager, the only way to elicit a response from fellow teenagers was to recreate the sickest things I could think of in my head. So a friend of mine once messed around with somebody while he was in a committed relationship to somebody else. And he felt like shit about it. He didn't really know how to get that emotion out. That feeling of self-hatred that he had. So he decided to do a photo set where he took a rusty pair of scissors and acted like he cut his dick off. Then he wanted to take it a step further and hang from a noose made of wire with bloody pants and the scissors laying on the floor below him. And you know what? It made him feel a lot better about himself. Depicting violent imagery can often help you from being violent yourself. We're all animal and we all have breaking points. Some of us just have a better control over it. But this commercial did put a bad taste in my mouth, and it wasn't the fault of the filmmakers, but rather the mentality that we share as a species in America. The hive mind, I guess. You ever notice how desensitized we are to violence? Since Vietnam, even our wars are televised, done to present a clear and concise narrative presented over a convoluted country. A nation that, to the rest of the world, probably looks like a goddamn circus. And that's why I'm proud to be an American. But I think I know the reason why we're so immersed in violence. I do. I do. I think I have the answer, YouTube. We still can't see a pair of tits, or a dick, or a pretty little asshole on TV. I don't know about you, but I personally would have rather seen a 30 second clip of two people lustfully fucking. The girl moaning only in the way they do in porn and never in real life. Sweat just pouring from both of their bodies meshing into a fluid of combined... Fuck. Then the shot cuts right before the guy's about to blow his load. And bam, black screen and the sound of a jizz explosion. Big Deep Dicks 2, The Retribution of the Dickity Dick, coming nationwide to a screen near you. You know, that's the problem, America. We embrace people killing each other and shun people for loving each other. Or blot it out completely as if it doesn't exist. That's kind of fucked up. So if you haven't seen the Gallon Challenge, you can check that out here. It's just three grown men drinking a lot of milk and throwing up. But it's entertaining as shit. Over here was the last rant that I did. You can click that here. See you tomorrow, my babies. Mwah. Fuck. Big Deep Dicks. <laughs> Big Deep Dicks 2. The Retribution of the Dickity Dick. <laughs>